Hello. Today we're going to discuss uh, removing the superfluous safety on a Romanian TT 33 Toker of pistols that have come into the United States as Curio and Relic. It's a, a relatively simple procedure and once we remove the safety we're going to go in a little bit more detail on how to plug up the holes that are left in the frame. So getting started, uh, do a basic field strip on the handgun. Remove the slide assembly, you don't need to break it all down. Make sure everything's unloaded. Uh, get to this point here. You want to decock the hammer. Take all the pressure off of the, the mainspring. The firing mechanism on a Tokra is modular assembly and can simply be pulled away from the frame of the gun. That gives you a little more clearance room. And then we're also going to want to remove the grips on the gun because we're going to be doing some soldering here later and uh, leaving them on can risk the possibility of burning or melting the grips. So we want to go ahead and remove them. A lot of people wonder how you take the grips off a of toke rev. It's fairly simple. Um, if you look down in here, you'll notice some little spring bars inside. Can you see that okay? Up in here. And you'll start with the left side grip panel. You want to use a non-marring tool or a screwdriver, a brass screwdriver would be good. And you'll see a little cutout slot up there in the, uh, on a prong on the grip. Just take your tool and reach up, find that little slot, and then pull back towards the back of the gun. And that'll free the first grip off the gun. Sometimes you got to push them and pop them out. Okay, and then to remove the right side grip, you'll see another little spring clip in here, two holes on it. Simply take your tool and just push up until it clears the frame. And then you can tap that one out. So that'll get uh, the gun down to the basic for removing the safety. We'll get this stuff out of the way. Okay, the safety is really, really easy to remove, but there are a couple little springs and detents in here. And uh, when we take this out of here, we want to try to keep all of our parts together. So, first thing we're going to do, this is held in place by the retainer clip. And to free it, you just need to rotate the retainer clip free. And then in order to make sure our spring and our detent are going to be retained and not lost on the floor or on the workbench somewhere, we're going to use a capture bag and we'll remove these parts. Simply place the gun into the bag. We'll turn it around for a little bit clearer here. And then all you have to do is press on the right side of the safety. And pull it off the left side of the gun. Make sure everything came out. And then this is going to be your safety and your detent. Okay. And from here, next step, I'll show you how to get started on filling the holes in the frame. First step in filling the holes in our frame is to drill out the two side holes and fit screws into place. And this is done, in my case, uh, I've used American Standards, which would be a Q letter drill. And a 3 8 by 24 tap. This is a taper tap that I've elected to use. And I'd strongly recommend that you use a drill press or a milling machine uh, in order to make these. If you try to do it by hand, you're probably going to go a little off center. Um, what we do is go ahead and drill out both sides. just to the area where the trigger comes through. You don't need to go any deeper than that. And then we've tapped up to that point. And once that's done, we've run our screws. I'm using a, a cap screws, hex head cap screws. Run those up to the point where they just meet that internal edge right there. 
If you go any deeper than that, what's going to happen is they're going to bind on the magazines, which you don't want. This magazine is uh, actually a Chinese-made Norinco, which works in this gun. It's a little bit tight to begin with. If you try to screw the screws in, they're not going to fit at all. They're going to end up binding on the screws. This is a Romanian here, and that drops free. So we got our locations, and I want to mark those off. I've elected to use a paint marker to do that and just paint around. And uh, what gets on the frame here when you do that, don't worry about it. It cleans right off with paint thinner. And you'll notice that your screws, you're only going to have about four to five threads going in. So our next step is to take these screws and to cut them down to length. And we're going to do that. I've made a screw plate to help me with that. It's just nothing but a piece of angle plate that I've drilled a hole in and, and a tap for the 3 8 by 24. Then I'm going to screw the screws in there until I can see the paint. And then in my case, you can use a hacksaw. In my case, I'm going to use a, a rotary tool with a heavy duty cutoff wheel to make that cut. And once that's done, we'll move on to the next segment of, of how to get them into the frame and permanently attach them.